g'day. Let's just integrate this function. I want you to notice that although it's a fraction, the derivative of what's on the bottom is 1, which does not match the top, so it's not a straight logarithm. There's certainly no exponential logarithmic or trig function involved. So our next option is to separate this fraction. Because this vinculum or this bar groups the top two terms together and they're both divided by this, we can separate it. Like so. The x squared is divided by x and the 1 is divided by x. Now we can simplify this. x into x squared gives x. Can't change the second part of the expression. But this bit certainly could be changed. Now, this is easy to integrate. It's a power of x already. This one is not initially what you expect as a power of x. Uh, if we rate that as x to the minus 1, and we try to integrate it using our normal technique for polynomials, we would get, we would have to add 1 and we would get x to the 0 over 0. Because 1 more than minus 1 is 0. And this just is nonsensical. It makes no sense, it's undefined. So that is not a way forward for us. But, it is a fraction. And this time you might notice that in fact, the derivative of x is 1. So we have a pattern here which is a logarithmic pattern. At least we'll get a logarithm when we integrate it. So it wasn't there at the beginning, but this bit is in that form where we have the derivative over a function. So the derivative of x is x squared on 2, because that's x to the power 1, so we just increase it by 1. And the integral of this is log x. And being an indefinite integral, we add the constant and there's the solution to that particular integral. Thank you for watching.